you're looking to play audio. And streaming audio is the rage today, and you've got an amazing TV. And you're probably tired of Netflix and Amazon and Crave and blah, blah, blah. You know, you have streaming audio services on your LG TV, 75 inch, 80 inch, 65 inch, whatever you say inch, it is on here. You go into the content network. Now, where do you do this exactly? Well, if you click the home button, it looks like that on your, on your remote, okay? It brings up this menu along the bottom here. You get the LG content store right in here, okay? They kind of hide it a bit. You can play around in the other areas, but this one helps the most. And you just click on that, and you go into this area, it'll take a second to load. And once in here, you have all of these apps. Now they show you all this feature stuff and there's actually a lot of ones I don't think you should get into, but you wanna do the audio stuff. You just go up to the top here, okay? And you go to all the apps. Instead of feature, just go into the apps and it has a better layout where it shows you the new, um, hot, my app, stuff like that. And here, Usually if you just go off to the left here, and you can do a search by the way in the far le um, left or right corner of your TV, whatever this screen is looking on your <laughs> Anyway, so they have right here, boom, they got Spotify. They also have Amazon um, or um, Apple Music also, but we're gonna focus on Spotify because this one, if you go in here, boom, bada bing, it's awesome. Now, what, when you, before you actually launch it, um, you will have to install it. So you just click install and then it'll, it'll load into the apps along the bottom of your um, TV, okay? That's the beauty. Your TV is functional to install apps, just like on your mobile phone, on your iPhone, on your, on your tablet, it's, it's that easy. And the great thing about um, Spotify is, which I'm gonna show you in this video, is you can actually control this um, with your, with your phone um, to air, air Apple Play, air share, and then you can control it to play from your phone to here or just through the app, or you can actually send it to your computer to play and your other, like it's, it's bananas. Anyway, so if you click launch, okay, and you launch it, boom, bada bing, you get the beginning of the amazing uh, Spotify app on your TV. Now, the first thing you do, you have to log in, okay? okay. Now that you got to this area, that's cool and all. You can go through the app and do that, or you can just go down here to log in with a password. I like setting up an account first, okay? And then just easily typing in, and then it'll connect properly uh, with the your account. So let's just type in my account. And once logged in, boom, bada, bing, you are in to your uh, account. Now, all the rest of the stuff, the QR codes and beaming and going to forward slash login, I mean, that's great and all, but the easiest way is like old school, just honestly go and online, log in through the app and start an account with an email and a password, and then things will sync up a lot quicker than playing the whole code and enter this in and stuff. Okay. Technology is a speed bump, okay? And I like to take all that stuff out. So once in here, um, now you have a daily dose of all the rest of the fun stuff. And the great thing is if you actually had a, a library of stuff, you, you'll have all of your, your playlists in here, like songs, podcasts, artists. It's pretty fantastical. So let's go, to, let's go to the home button here for a second. And this is the last one I played, Sexy Tunes 2015. So let's just go in here for fun, shits and giggles, and see. So, you know, I'm a big weekend fan, so... Let's 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 just play it. And and it'll play, okay? And before um this goes on and on, but that, that's cool and all, okay? So you get you can now have access to create playlists. Now I recommend that you go on to your mobile app, okay, and um go through it where you'll have the uh you know your your you've installed it on your, your tablet, okay? You can just do a search for it and it looks like, yay, you'll just look for that green app like that um, and the Spotify install and open, right? And then you'll be in there and it's the same thing where you have home here. Now, this is the cool thing, okay? And I really gotta say, this is the ultra cool thing is that 
you can you can use your mobile device now to control this. You don't have to use this and you can have a visual interface so you can give it to your kids, your wife, your girlfriend, just you sitting at home. And you can use this where say, say I wanna, wanna go into the sexy tunes, okay? So I'm going into the, the playlist and say, I wanna listen to like some in over my head or something. Now, on the side here, on the, on the side of this, um, you can actually change where it, how it controls to, to your TV. So um, if we go in here and we just click on this, um, you can actually click on the bottom left. There's a little like, there's a little like icon, looks like a little uh, computer or mobile device. You click here and then it gives you access to um, connect to different devices. And as you can see here, it sees my LG TV, it sees my web player. So on my Chrome in my other room, okay, I can go there or I can choose my TV and, and control that. Now watch what happens here. See, so it's controlling it. So it's kind of the old philosophy of six of one, half a dozen of the other. So if you're not into like beaming and moving your controller around and stuff like this, and you want a, an interface, which we all do, like when you go and you're hanging out with your family and, and you're watching YouTube videos and you want to someone else, here you go, just select something you'd like to watch or you'd like to listen. Now, this just uh, starts a whole endless um, plethora of opportunity because now on the Spotify network streaming uh, music, they also have audiobooks and you can do a search uh, for audiobooks on here and search into the audiobooks that are free from Harry Potter to classic novels and stuff and take some time out from watching all of these um, streaming uh, movie and TV networks and uh, enjoy yourself listening education and stuff like that if you're into reading like myself um, and enjoy that. So if you have any questions on Spotify and how to play on your LG TV or um, other TV, just let me know and I'll help you to link that up. Again, always recommend that you set up an account before on, you know, first and then go to log into these things versus the whole different codes and stuff like that. It can cause a little bit of a rig and roll. Thank you very much. And uh, please remember to subscribe and uh, check these two videos out also. You might like them because they have to do with LG TVs also. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in another video.